In this next video, we're gonna be looking at the steps involved in pre-milking teat disinfection. Now this may not be for everyone and not be used as a routine, but at certain times of the year, such as at calving time, during really hot weather, or during really wet weather, it can actually be used to actually reduce the number of clinical cases of mastitis. Pre-milking teat preparation is commonplace in other countries where the cows are housed, and certainly some dairy farmers in Australia have implemented these procedures as a routine, but for the most part, it's not done. Australian research has shown that implementing pre-milking teat preparation routines may reduce clinical mastitis in times of high challenge, such as very wet, muddy or very hot conditions. Putting cups on clean, dry and plump teats is a well-established principle of the countdown program. Even when it's hot, if you wash the teats, the drying is critical to reduce the chance of the bacteria that remain on the teat getting into the udder and causing an infection. Some people will also take the opportunity to use pre-milking teat disinfection. The value of this routine is only realised when teats are washed first, then a registered product is applied via dipping or spraying the teats to then act on the teat skin for 30 to 45 seconds before wiping the teats dry and applying the cups. Without washing and drying, bacteria are still left on the teat. Milking dynamics will be changed with putting the cup on the teat and also residues will get into the milk. By doing good teat preparation, it will result in a faster milking with a rapid and sustained milk letdown when the cups are put on. Consulting with an experienced countdown advisor is important in considering first whether a pre-milking routine is suitable and achievable for your farm and secondly, to assist with correctly and consistently implementing the routine. Having talked through the process, we can also consider the other potential benefits of using pre-milking teat preparation and some considerations for implementing it on farm.